new floss tube is Lolly at Lollipop Stitches. It is <clears throat> the 10th of April and it's been a hot minute since I last did an update. Um, it's probably actually been like a month almost. My cheeks are really rosy. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, and my hair's quite fluffy. Again, don't know why. Uh, so yeah. Don't know what's going on with this bit either. I'm a hot mess, y'all. Hot mess. Um, so yeah. Hi. Um, it's been a hot minute. And I totally forgot what's going what what happens um okay so let's go farm last floss tube update i'm gonna keep looking now because i got my planner my wonderful wonderful planner i love it it's like the best thing ever um so yeah i'll just go through updates from the last time no fo's or FFOs that I've got here to show. Um, I've stitched one gift and that was a present for a friend. So that's gone. Gone on, gone away. Um, I've been working on two whips. I don't even know. And I wrote it all down. Mm. Uh, I've worked on two whips and I've FFO'd two hoops. Because I need to get those posted out as gifts, um, along with everything else that needs to be posted. I'm going to do a giveaway, just because why not? Uh, that'll be at the end. So if you want, if you're here just here for a giveaway, you're going to have to wait. Soz. Um, have I got any haul? I don't think I have. I got. I brought two patterns because obviously one can't travel alone. Um, one of those I've started, so that kind of goes into that. What else? I think that's pretty much it. Really not a lot to go through. Um, I have my Chip and Dale ears on from Disneyland Paris. Uh, <laughs> I'm a hot mess. Actually a hot mess. It's okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. So life updates I've caught up on comments from the last video um literally just while <laughs> I was getting ready um and I just want to have like a quick two seconds to say thank you for everybody that watches um comments like subscribe what have you um it means a lot when people comment because they're interacting with the video and not just watching it I know I'm the the awful most worst person <laughs> to say that because I don't always have the time to comment I try and go back and comment like if I'm watching it on the TV I'll try and get the video up on my phone I think um Christine at Stitch All The Things kind of said the same in this week's video so yeah um trying to be better at commenting and liking other people's videos that I watch so yeah Mm, what else? <laughs> Got a serious brain fart, guys. Serious brain fart. Um, life updates. In the month of March, yeah, it was all in March. Um, I've seen Captain Marvel four times. <laughs> it's a fucking fabulous film. If you haven't seen Captain Marvel, what are you doing with your life? You need to go and watch it. And because Endgame comes out in like less than a week and a half, two weeks, um, I hope everybody's booked their tickets to go and see it. Because this girl has. And yeah, Captain Marvel. It's great. It's literally like, I came, it's just great. Just go watch it. Tell me once you've seen it, then we can discuss it, right? What else? I've been watching re-watching Game of Thrones I'm almost caught up I've got like season seven which is seven or eight episodes maybe six seven eight I can't remember I literally looked the other day as well because I was just like how many episodes have I got left uh, notification um, <laughs> what else what else 
Um, so yeah, Game of Thrones new season is this weekend. Um, it airs the same time as the States over here, so it'll be at, on at 2 o'clock in the morning. And yes, this girl's staying up to watch it. Because um, uh, how could you... There'd be so many spoilers, right? Literally, so many spoilers if I wake up on Monday. Went to work, there'd be people talking about it. It'd be all over the internet. Um, so yeah, the same happened with WrestleMania last weekend. I said last weekend, it was like Monday, <laughs> Sunday night, should I say. Um, I don't really watch Raw or Smackdown um, anymore because it kind of got shit. It's awful. There's some really great wrestlers and really great potential, but they're not making the most of it. So I keep up to date with it, but I don't watch it religiously anymore. However, can't miss out on WrestleMania. I wasn't excited for it until Sunday afternoon came and then I was just like, it's WrestleMania. It's WrestleMania day. But I'm too old to stay up and watch it. Because over here it would be a, it will start at midnight. And this year's was five and a half hours long. That was without the pre-show. If you watch the pre-show as well, add another two hours onto that. That was like a full day. Full day. It took me two nights to watch it because it was so much to watch in one night. Um, so I'm quite glad I didn't stay up. Because that would have been a long ass Monday. Long ass. Um, so yeah. Captain Marvel's great. Uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah. Um, I decided like a couple of weeks ago that I would watch. I think it was a couple of days before Captain Marvel came out. Genius idea. I was going to re-watch all of the Marvel films from the cinematic universe in release date order before Captain Marvel. Wow, that did not happen. <laughs> it did not happen at all. I got to like, uh, one, two, three, six movies in. And then on that sixth movie, or the seventh movie, from then on out, all the films are like two hours long, or plus. Um, that's a lot of time. So I kind of shit can that idea. Um, trying to just uh, catch up on life. Uh, da -da -da. It was Mother's Day over here, so we did like a little afternoon tea for my mum. I'll insert some photos if I've got them. I think I have. I'll insert them. Um, so yeah, and then work's been okay, not horrendous, obviously, if you watched the past couple of videos, um, work's just been constant this year, why? No idea, um, it's just a constant, constant, um, I had an issue at work, I don't know if that was with the last video, can't remember, anyways, someone decided to yell at me um, in a very, very unprofessional manner. Um, so yeah, that was a horrible day. Nobody should ever be spoken to the way that guy spoke to me, ever. Um, so I raised it with HR and put in a complaint. Um, I handled it very, very professionally. If I was outside of work, that guy would have got a punch in the throat. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, he hasn't spoken to me since, thankfully, because if he does, son of a bitch is going down. Simple as. Ain't nobody speaking to me like that. Nope. Um, so yeah, that was that. Um, 
And then last week, oh my god, um, obviously it was the end of financial year, so everything wraps up, blah blah blah, and a lot of end of year stuff happens. Um, in our company we have like an end of year leadership conference. Um, most of the top leadership of the company goes to this conference, blah blah blah. Um, my work husband rang me on Friday night saying I was nominated for a recognition award um, for best change advocate or supporter within the business. Um, I didn't win it at the leadership conference because there was obviously other people that had been nominated that obviously aren't there. Who knows? But um, on Tuesday, it was wait, was that yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. <laughs> we had like a um, local uh, meeting within IT um, and the IT director had given an update on um, what happened at the leadership conference and what updates there were, blah, blah, blah. And then he called out um, all the people that won from IT and all the people got nominated um, and all of them he uh, recognised them and thanked them for their work and we all got a bottle of well I got a bottle of champagne because I was mine was an individual individual award um, but you know what it's so nice just to get recognised and thanked and my name was up there in lights and it would have been up there in lights at the leadership conference <laughs> which I was super happy about because you know sometimes you just work constant you don't get any thanks nobody actually realizes what you do is really fucking important so it was nice to get that little bit of recognition well deserved um I'll insert said cheesy photo here um So, that's pretty much life. Uh, I haven't got anything planned uh, this month. All apart from Endgame. Yes. Um, we've got bank holidays here for Easter. Which means two short weeks and one long weekend. Excuse me. And then... Yeah, then it's May. It's gonna be May. Um, so, we'll just get into stitching, right? That's what you're all here for. Unless you enjoy my company. Who knows? <laughs> so, stitching. So, I showed in the last video the stitch that I started for my friend's gift, which was the um, Disney Parks slash Star Wars slash Death Star cross stitch um, pattern from from that designer on Etsy it'll all be linked below <laughs> um, I had to choose some alternative colours because they didn't have those threads but it didn't make that much of an impact to the final finish so I'll insert the final finished picture yeah. And she loved it. And I knew she would because she's like me. Disney Star Wars crafting. Is it? Life. Um, so I stitched on it solidly for like two weeks. I honestly didn't think I was going to get it finished by the time um, I was going to see her because she just come back from Disney. So I stitched my tiny little heart out and managed to get it done. Done and dusted in time. It was amazing. Uh, so yeah, really pleased with how it turned out. And obviously really pleased that she liked it. Um, I also made um, my friend a little gift with my Cricut. Um, I'll insert that picture here.
and it's kind of based on Tony Stark, obviously, because of the arc reactor. Another notification. <laughs> um, so yeah, I made that for her birthday. It was just a little something, you know? I thought it was a really good idea. It was a complete light bulb moment. Um, anyways, so... Uh, da -da -da -da. Finished that stitch. Watch Captain Marvel. Watch Captain Marvel again. Um, and then I stitched on. I picked up a whip, obviously. Um, and you've seen it before. It's a uh, Stitch Rovia's Be Inspired. You've seen it, you love it, you all love it. Um, I did a conversion to one of my favourite songs from the Bouncing Souls, which are a New Jersey punk band. And this year is their 30th anniversary, because they're fabulous. And they're the best. Um, just taking this off the cue snap to show you. So I'll insert, if I can find one, I've probably got one on Instagram somewhere. Um, a picture of where it was last time, maybe. Um, but this is where it is today. Um, so I finished the two motifs on either side here. Oops. And these two. I then um, did the little horseshoe at the bottom and I changed it to the notification. Um, I changed the script to the year that the Mountain Souls formed and then I well, I was um, I got down to obviously the two bottom motifs here um, and I kept looking at them and I just didn't like them. <laughs> what? Let me rephrase. I liked the mermaid, but I didn't really like the sailor. I think if it was recharted a little bit differently, it would be okay. Um, I just, there's something about it I don't like, so I wasn't gonna stitch it. I mean, the mermaid's face is a bit janky, but it is what it is. Um, so I decided what I was gonna do is take the mermaid, cause she's charted to be on the right hand side. If you're looking at it, it's the right hand side. <laughs> I'm totally confused about listen yeah it's the right hand side um so I took it um I basically just took a photo on my phone of the chart flipped it and printed it <laughs> so I could do it on that side and I'm gonna I obviously that's not what's in here um so I'm recharting it to say born free which is another Bouncing Soul song. Not that you can, that's a really awkward tattoo. You can get the gist, right? Born Free, favorite song, great song. Um, so yeah, so I'm slowly <laughs> working my way through that. Slowly, um, but I'm kind of gonna, I think I'm gonna finish, focus on it and just finish it. And then it'll be another whip done. She saves this. We all see this, right? Um, so then I this will be haul slash new start. Um I got the Cricut Collection October pattern to start the sale with Gary over at Sunshine Stitches. Um, we both failed at starting it on April 1st, <laughs> totally failed, um, however I started on the 2nd, um, so I got this one with the haul, the October one, and then I got Christmas. Now I'm having deja vu, because I think I did show it when I got them, maybe, who knows. Um, so this fabric is Sparkly's Fabric of the Month for March and it literally came the day I was starting it because I, I was about to pick a fabric and yeah so 
it's blues and greens which you know it's fabulous for Halloween um, and it's not bright which is great and I'm changing some of the floss colours not that you can see yeah, you can see um, and all I picked the floss that I picked was just to do oh because I didn't want to kit it all up and then be like Ugh. you know you know um, so I started this was my start on the second I'm changing the colour of the letters to a, a purple majestic from Weeks Dye Works. I freaking love that purple. It is purely the best purple out there. Literally. There might be others. But the only one that I've found and used that I like is that purple majestic. And it's fabulous. Colours, it's really bright. Mm, yeah. Um, so that's all I did on that. And then I went back to inspired, being inspired. Okay. Stitch on what you want when you want, right? Um, I will say I have found with this chart, I've never stitched on a Cricut Collection chart before. And I'll show you quickly because, you know, the chart is, it's all there, right? It is so freaking small. And because there's so much detail, and I'm sure some of the icons for colours are wrong, because it doesn't look like it on this. Um, so I just did whatever I needed to do. Just gotta do what you gotta do. Um, so I had to scan it and print it out like enlarged, because yeah, I don't know why. It was just really difficult to. Um, see, um, it's very small, very all cramped into one area. I mean, you could have printed it on multiple pages. Just saying. Um, so then, so yeah, I got Cricut Collection Christmas with that because no chart can travel alone. Um, I got um, a needle minder from a friend in a crafty friend in the states. She does the whole Disney pin thing too. Um, and I picked Chippendale because Chippendale are the best, the best, the best. And how do you know they're different? Chip's got a chocolate chip for his nose. Yeah, yeah. Bit of Disney information for you there. Um, what else? Um, I'll just show you some pins that I got. I'm going to rearrange my pin board because they're all like cramped to and stuff um, and I keep buying more it's not a bad thing um, I got a new newfound glory pinhead one um, it was the back to Fu back to the future collab one with an artist um, and then um, I got this one from made on Main Street he's so cute literally the cutest thing ever And her bow is so glittery. It sparkles and everything. Um, but yeah, I'll link these guys below. They did a teacup collection with all the little sidekicks in them. But yeah, this is freaking adorable. Um, and then I managed to snag. Yeah, I did. Tula Pink, Pinkerville, Owl Pin. I mean, just look at it. It's stunning. It's quite big as well. But I feel like I want to wear it all the time. All the time. All the time. Um, so yeah, that was that. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know. You will know. I decided to reopen my Etsy store. Um, but this is purely, ugh, this is purely just to make a bit of extra pocket money. Um, and I, I like the process of making these bags. Um, and the fact I can sew freaking zips, freaking love it. Um, so I have, have made some vinyl front um, project bags 
and they all fit this size chart in them so they fit that in it and um, I made one and I used it for a couple of weeks um, and it holds chart your, your threads um, like so you can keep your threads in a ziplock bag holds your chart your threads and it holds without any issue um, an 8x8 Q snap with your project on it all in it so it holds a lot um, so yeah so I've made some ready to ship and they're on my Etsy store which I'll relink below and uh, now it's back open so you've got this one this uh, geometric pattern is from Libs Elliot True Love Collection and I thought the red zip goes quite well with that kapow Cruella de Vil. Um, I made uh, quite a few Tula pink ones um, some of these might be sold now at time of recording, so check that Etsy store. Frogs. I freaking love this one. I'm going to have to make myself this one. Um, I just love the colour that I chose. Dumbo. Tula pink. Tula pink. And to now this is the new Pinkerville collection. just love it it's amazing um so yeah these are um ones that are available um and obviously that haven't already been sold will still be in my etsy shop and i will make some every week and have them listed on the shop and they'll all be ready to ship i won't be doing custom orders at the minute um i'm just trying to reduce one's fabric stash because I got a lap and I'm not really doing anything with it so just make project bags and, and sell them um you've seen these before but I've FFO or hooping them Hufflepuff Hogwarts and you're a wizard Um, these will be going out, out. Yeah, they will. Um, I think that's kind of it. This one's probably going to be quite short. I seem to be um, a monogamous stitcher at the moment. I'm just getting through projects. Um, or trying to, at the very least. I haven't got any new starts planned. <clears throat> And I'm not doing Mania. Nope. I tried doing Mania last year. And then when I reviewed... Um, when I reviewed... The, my whips with Michelle, Eugene, Bendy Stitchy. Um, literally everyone that I started in Mania, I got rid of. So I get the hype, but I don't get... Yeah, no, I just can't do it this year. I just don't. It's just, I don't know. Um, on another note, I've been um, personalising my happy planner. So I made these stickers to go across this. So stitchy plans. Um, so I can write down. Here's where I haven't done it for a couple of days. <laughs> well, lied. Two. Uh, so I wrote down what I've stitched on, if I've made any other project stuff, excuse me, um, so yeah, slowly personalising Happy Planner, getting it to where I want it to be, to make sure I'm um, documenting everything crafty that I do, which is fabulous, um, and then next year, I can, I already know what my planner is going to be like because I'm finessing it this year. Um, I freaking love it. I cannot wait to go on holiday and buy all the crap from Michael's for me and my happy planner. Yes, happy planner, yes. 
and this is all EJ's fault. Just run it out there. It's all EJ's fault. Okay, giveaway. I haven't done one in a while, to be honest. Um, I'm pretty much up to date with everything. I'm very comfortable with where I am. I've still got one big thing to ship. Um, Michelle knows about it. <laughs> and I apologise that that person hasn't received the thing that they've been on in an auction yet. <laughs> but awkward packages are really awkward prices. So I'm trying to find the best way to get it posted and packaged without compromising the frame and everything. So when I send it, you'll get freebies. Don't worry. I'll send you send you some extras. So um what I'm going to do is do Uh, uh, uh. Three giveaways. I think I just spat everywhere. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm gonna have. There's gonna be three winners. And you're gonna tell me what you want. And one winner is gonna be extra lucky because it'll be for two charts. So, um, what I want to know, what the question will be. Maybe I'll show you what I'm doing first. Or rules. Rules. Giveaway rules. You must be over 18 to enter. You must be a subscriber. If you want to know me, you must like me on Instagram too. It's a pass. Um, so, no mentioning giveaway. None of that shit. That'll get deleted if you do. Um, and you're going to answer a question. Which I'll think of while I'm showing you what I'm giving away. Um, so I reviewed these patterns for Fat Quarter Shop and to spread the love I'm going to give them away. Why not? Um, I'll link everything below that you might need um, for these patterns or if you want to find out more information about these patterns it will all be linked below. So the first one is the um, Vintage Christmas Sampler from um, Laurie Holt of Being My Bonnet Company. Um, for this one, just say, I'll just do this way, there won't be a question, just say, I want to stitch the Christmas sampler. I want to stitch the Christmas sampler. Yes. Next one is the Quilter's Cottage. Priscilla's working on this at the moment and hers looks fabulous. She's converted some of the house colours and it is a really cute pattern. Um, so yeah, you should check this one out. Um, if you want to win this one, say, I want to live in the quilter's cottage. I want to live in the quilter's cottage. And then these two, because they're farm related. So you've got Farm Girl Fall, which was uh, the quilt block type pattern, and Happy Farm Girl, which is that one. If you want to win both of these, whoever wins will get both patterns. Um, just say, I want to live on the farm. So, that'll stay open from now until what day is it today? Um, from now until the next video. So whenever I do the next video will be whenever I pick the winners. Simple as. Um, yeah, I think that, that pretty much sums it up. Um, I'm going to stitch on this again after. I really want to finish. Finish it. Finish it. I love the colours in it. Very traditional. Love it. Um, so I am going to work on this tonight. Um, yeah. That's all I got. So I hope everybody's having a good April. You know it's going to be over before we know it. It's just one of those things. And I hope everybody's having fun stitching. Um, remember, giveaway, 
don't say giveaway, you must be over 18. All the things that you need to say to win, comment below. Um, <laughs> giveaway. <clears throat> giveaway will remain open until the next video. Whenever that may be. Um, so yeah. Happy stitching and uh, see you guys soon. Peace out nerds. Bye.